Hi, hi friends. Um, so welcome to today's Monday morning message. Um, so basically lately I've been really trying to be um, cognizant or aware of waste because especially when we came from Japan and in Japan the Japanese people they have very little waste um, compared to us Americans. So I, I'm trying to think about ways how, um, you know, what are we doing with the things that we're throwing away, what should, you know, be thrown away or not. So for example, like the glass um, in our community, we don't necessarily, like in California, you can actually recycle glass for money, but here we can't. But in my city, we can take the glass to the, um, there's a dumpster by our city hall, and so we can take our glass over there. So that's, you know, kind of being a little bit aware of waste. So one of the things that um, I've been doing is putting all the organic material into a bucket because that is what I'm taking out and kind of creating this compost. I don't think I'm doing such a great job, but one of the things is because the chickens can then go through it, they can eat what they want. Sometimes we even get, um, like yesterday we had a bunch of deer, um, <clears throat> if the deer catch it, you know, they can eat it or whatever. So, but um, this weekend I was, um, so another thing I like to do is I like to reverse engineer um, things that are in um, supplements or in, um, uh, in just in products in general. So this uh, weekend I happened to run across, um, somebody had sent, oh, you know, there's this really great uh, toothpaste brand. And I had somebody else on a post one time saw, this is a really good toothpaste brand. So I decided I want to see what's in it that makes it so great to see what ingredients, because I already have a friend who makes a toothpaste powder. And so I was kind of comparing. And in this one toothpaste, they had um, hypoxy appetite. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what that is and where I could buy it, because that's one ingredient, because I do make my own toothpaste powder. Um, and so what I found, very interestingly, when I was researching it, hypoxia appetite is ground up eggshells. And so I'm already, um, you know, we have chickens, we all use eggs even if we didn't have chickens, but um, so I'm always trying to figure out, well, I know that eggshells have minerals, so what could I do with leftover eggshells? So what I do with my eggshells is I have, take my eggshells, and what I, um, I rinse them out because they get kind of sticky. So I rinse them out and I put them in here so they can kind of dry out, the water dries out. Then in here, I just have this wonderful ice. We don't need ice cream, so great uh, ice cream scooper, but I, I uh, crush my eggshells in here. And then what I do is I'll sprinkle them in the um, chicken feed. Um, and I've been trying to figure out if that, okay, this weekend I'll probably figure out if I can put them in the garden or not. Um, but I was like, oh, I found out that you can also use ground up eggshells in the toothpaste powder. So in my toothpaste powder that I use, I use activated charcoal. So I, what I do is I put everything in these little jars. So when I run out, I make a little um, container of it. And when I run out, if I have everything here, I'm more likely to make it and put it all uh, together. Otherwise, if I have to go around and chase ingredients, then then it's like, oh, okay, that, and, and by the way, I'm the only one who uses it. Um, my kids, we're, we're all fluoride free, but um, my, uh, my husband, you, he buys his own, and um, my kids, they want toothpaste, so I get the lemon one because they don't like mint. Um, anyway, so Himalayan salt, um, Carbonate, or activated charcoal. So the activated charcoal is to bind up to toxins, Himalayan salt, and the eggshell. The purpose of the eggshells is to help remineralize. Um, and then we have baking soda. And then um, one of the toothpaste that was really good had green tea in it. So I um, I put uh, green tea. So what I do with the eggshells or the, and the green tea is I put it in a coffee grinder. And then I was able to make a fine powder of each one. And then that way when I mix them all together and I stir it, then you take a wet toothbrush, you dip it in, and then you brush your teeth. Um, so back to remineralization, we've been, it kind of fell in line to what we've been talking about. We've been talking about minerals. Um, but a lot of you probably aren't aware that you can remineralize your 
um, enamel, remineralize your teeth. You can reverse cavities. Um, so that's why I had been using the Himalayan salt. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna combine uh, the two of them. But I know, I know people who use these for um, for their clients, um, like use um, uh, remineralization um, salts for their teeth and for their jawbone. So in the jawbone, I think it comes in a cream. I'm not sure how it comes because I think you, um, I think it's like an ointment cream that you pack into your jaw, but you can, if you have um, cavitations, I think you can use it uh, for that. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing for, that's what I do for my toothpaste, but I added my new ingredient, eggshell powder, um, blended in a coffee grinder. Okay, so we'll, on Friday I'll continue um, talking about the individual minerals. Um, and um, I'm just trying to think if there was anything else that I kind of came across uh, this weekend, but uh, I thought it was going to snow, but probably this week maybe it'll snow again. Anyway, I hope everybody has a blessed week, and um, just try to think about ways that you can reuse the things that we would normally throw away. All right, bye-bye.